Yes, he does. All right, we now move on to citizens to be heard. This is the portion of the meeting. We ask you to come forward, state your name and address, and then have it for the record. Our policy requires that you stay under three minutes so that others have time to be heard. Please direct all comments to council as a whole. Do not attempt to engage individual members of council in debate. It is the council's policy to immediately follow through with you and your concern. That being said, is there any citizens to be heard at this time? Mr. Corbin. John Waterman, I do not now know how I ever live in the city of Bell Austin, but I do get my mail here, 3338 Country Club Road, Sweet Hill, PMB 3336 30605. And uh, I'm here as a Swanee River Keeper with Walls Watershed Coalition. And I'm going to praise the city of Bell Austin. First of all, thank you for passing that resolution in support of the swamp and against the strip mine. Bell Austin is by far the largest municipality or any other elected body to do that. Uh, the others are way smaller. And I hope that uh, EPD will listen and also legislate. Uh, secondly, thanks for all we keep doing about the sewer system improvements and putting the two items you just approved tonight. And thirdly, I never got down here to thank you for this when you denied, denied that uh, de annexation around uh, Cherry Creek. Very good thing. Thank you. Um, and I'd like to thank uh, the Stormwater Division for cleaning up down at Sugar Creek at the infamous trash jam. They seem to be doing that after most big rains. It's a big help. And as many of you are aware, we are uh, near the end of drafting a grant proposal to Coca-Cola for a couple of trash traps to try to, um, I, I, I agree with the city engineer that we don't want to just do trash traps because that's just like a bag on the side. I don't think that was your word. But, uh, however, um, even after we get the upstream parking lots to clean up their act by, for example, putting trash cans in the parking lot, still something's going to get into the creek. So an intermediate step of trash traps would still be useful. This will, of course, require, I mean, the grant doesn't, like that, doesn't last forever. It will require the city to find a way to fund it ongoing. But I hear from at least one city council member that there may be ways to do that. Okay, um, and I would like to invite you all to, this was the mayor's idea, this is the third year running, on um, January 29th, 2022, that's a Saturday, to come on down to Troopville Boat Ramp for the Chairman and Mayor's Battle. Call it two names this year, you got to share. Mayor, Chairman, no. Yeah, like the chairman. <laughs> And it's good, you know, we travel down past the clean, nice clean outflow of the Wifugucci waste, uh, waste, Wastewater Treatment Plant. So we can brag about that. And we go on down all the way to uh, Spook Ridge, thanks again to Lyondale Company for permission for the access there. So y'all come. Thank you. John, on behalf of this mayor and this council, thank you for your efforts as well in our area waterways. All right, city manager. Oh, sorry. Any other citizens to be heard at this time? Good. John is the only one. Then. 